Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Held Dominance. Anthony here. Please remember to like and subscribe and also click that notification bell if you're enjoying what you're seeing and if you want to see more. Coming up, Corey Norman comes out of retirement for Super League. An update on Carry Carry situation at Castleford. And why you all should wish this man all the best on Friday. So the midweek's uh, announcements of squads saw some unusual changes, but one that really came to light was the comeback of the lifetime, I must say, as it's been announced that the Brisbane Broncos will have named T. Maria Martin as fullback for their game on Friday. This comes three years after being diagnosed with a brain bleed on his brain and goes into the game against the Canterbury Bulldogs on Friday night, the 22nd of April 2022. The former New Zealand international and North Queensland cowboy made a promising start to his rugby league career, making 55 NRL games appearances for uh, Penrith Panthers and the aforementioned Cowboys between 2016 and 2019, as well as playing for his native New Zealand four times. He's now 26 years old and will make a stunning comeback this weekend after passing a final medical clearance earlier in the year. Speaking to, about the uh, return, he mentioned on the Broncos website, it's been a long two and a half years to get my career back on track. When my scans came back, giving me the all clear, I wanted to come back. You don't realise how much you miss the game and the boys until you're out of the game for two to three years. I've had a lot of scans and saw a lot of specialists. The only healing I could do was rest. I got jo a job pushing sand in big machines, sitting down all day. Just having a rest and no contact enabled it to heal. The specialist gave me the all clear last year to come back with the Broncos. I was very emotional to come back and I'm really enjoying it here at the Broncos. Everything feels good. Everything's going, even going to the changing rooms, just the smell of the dressing rooms. It brings all the memories back. It's just a long time out. It was 2019 where this was all began and Martin started the season playing 5-8 before moving to full back in round 3. But on May the 1st, the Cowboys announced that Martin would be sidelined indefinitely with a small bleed on his brain. He returned to training on July the 9th uh, but missed the rest of the season. His contract then expired uh, in 2000, at the end of the 2019 season but he remained the, with, at the Cowboys, undertaking pre-season training in a hope to getting cleared to play rugby league again. But it was January the 12th, 2020, when Martin announced his immediate retirement from rugby league. He revealed that he could not get cleared for contact training, essentially ending his career. But he will start at fullback for the Broncos when he hosts when they host the Cowboys at Suncorp Stadium on Friday, which is an amazing turnaround and amazing to think that something that serious can get cleared up with time, patience and rest. Good luck to him and hopefully we'll see a lot, lot more of him with no significant, well, with no after effects of such a significant injury. In a saga involving a young Castleford player that even I was reporting on about the tapping up issue and also the interest from Leeds Rhinos, um, which even I mentioned in yesterday's video, it's announced through social media that Castleford Tigers are thrilled to confirm that Jason Curry Curry has signed a two-year contract extension with the club, keeping him at Weldon Road until the end of the 2024 season. Fleet Flutted Winger, a product of the Castleford's Academy system, um, the Fijian-born outside back has been a Tiger 
since the age of 15 years old after joining the scholarship program from local community club Kipax Welfare. Jason continued his development with the academy system before making his senior debut against Hull FC in June. In one of the Betfred's Super League's most memorable debuts, Carrie Carey burst onto the scene with a remarkable try for his first touch of the ball just 44 seconds into his maiden senior game. The winger full by cars notched on a further three senior appearances now, but he has also featured in the Yorkshire Academy's origin victory over Lancashire, scoring again early in that fixture too. Widely considered one of the most promising prospects in the sport, Carrie Carey has now committed to the next two years with the Tigers, a club where he feels very much so at home. I've been at Cass with the Scholarship Academy and made my way into the first team. It's been my home ever since I was a young boy. It has just been my place that I've always wanted to be. And being in the first team is a great feeling. I think the environment that has been built here, there are some firm foundations that Castle believe in and we train with them as well. Everyone, the players and the coaching staff are all welcoming ever since I've come with the scholarship. Everything here is all round great. Jason is in his final academic year with Queen Ethelberga Collegiate who have been nothing but supportive of his endeavours to becoming a Super League player. That's off to them. I think they have really helped me with my academics, with me being not in school as often. Everyone there, the teachers, the coaching staff, they have all been supportive and I've enjoyed every minute I've been at school. I could not praise them more for what they have done for me. Jason's unforgettable debut saw him play on the wing, a position he has played in this year with our reserve side. Their Cassie's reserve side at times, such as against Huddersfield Giants reserves, where he scored a hat trick inside 20 minutes. But the 18 year old has also plied his trade at a fullback and is learning from an England international. I'm happy to play in both positions. Any game time is game time, and with me playing at fullback too, I can try and increase my expertise on the field. Now Levels is really helping me during pre-season, getting to grips with the first team pace and the skill. He has helped me a lot, as has Greg Eden and all the other wingers as well who have been helping me become the player I am. Castleford Tigers head coach Lee Radford shared his delight about the news, saying, I'm really pleased for both Jason and the Tigers that he has extended to stay with us at the club. He, with his athleticism and age, I think we there is a real scope to develop Jason as a player and we're very excited to develop him on his journey to see him achieve his potential. Say to lose Olympique have um, been indifferent to the beginning of their Super League career. Um, many, many lows, close defeats, and one very memorable high with beating the grand finalists, well, grand final winners, Saints Helens, wreath, um, midway through this opening stanza of the season. They have been looking to get their squad stronger so that they can compete a little more at the top level. And that has been been the case with the signing that was buried between the two Smiths coaching decisions of yesterday. Toulouse have gone on and signed ex-NRL halfback Corey Norman on a deal until the end of 2022. Norman who's 31 made 228 NRL appearances for Brisbane Broncos, Parramatta Eels and St George Illawarra Dragons prior to announcing his retirement from the sport in December last year. After a dramatic U-turn, he will now link up with the Super League newcomers who currently sit bottom of the league with just one win from their opening 9 matches. 
Normina previously told Fox Sports in Australia he had no desire to continue to play rugby league at the highest level, but he changed his mind with has been bolstered by Sylvan Hule's creative options as he looks the state to lose to Super League uh, survival. A state of origin representative for Queensland, the Australian admitted he is looking forward to testing himself in the south of France. I can't wait to join the club and meet the whole team, coaches and supporters, Norman said. This represents a good opportunity and at the same time a challenge for me. I also look forward to acquiring the learning that is this new beginning will bring me. Olympic President Bernard Sarazain um, said while hailing the capture of Norman, Corey's arrival is in the squad is excellent news for the club at this stage of the season. He has the ideal profile since he can occupy two positions that we're looking for, halfback and fullback. His extensive high-level experience, his talent and his leadership will be a major asset for the team. I am happy that Corey has agreed to trust us and I can't wait to see him in the colours of the TO. Norman was a superstar in the making in his fledgling rugby league career when starting his NRL um, season in 2010 making his debut in round one. By 2013 though, he had taken over Darren Lockyer's jersey at the at, um, scrum, uh, standoff where he preferred to play. But with the signing of, um, I can't remember, Steve Prince um, from Gold Coast Titans, he was forced to move back to the initial position where he played for the Broncos and that was at fullback, which wasn't his preferred position. Despite his on the field qualities, Norman also found himself in that headlines for the wrong reason over the course of his career. Uh, after a lucrative move to Parramatta Eels for three years, he was handed a $20,000 breach notice by the Eels during his final year at the club in 2018, after being spotted in, on social media drinking while on the club's injured list going against the, their rules. In 2019, on the social media led, shot, uh, led to his new club, St. George Illawarra Dragons, also uh, informing the NRL Integrity Unit over historic actions from Norman, with the Dragons confirming that they would make no further comments at the time. And last season, his final campaign in the NRL, Norman was fined $20,000 and handed a breach notice after being involved in a street brawl with former NRL player and ex-Leeds Rhinos Hulker James Aguiaro before receiving a $50,000 fine and subsequently one match ban later in the season for breaching the competition's COVID-19 biosecurity program uh, protocol for attending a party with 12 of his other Dragons teammates at then teammates Paul Vaughan's house in New South Wales. There are two other very high profile uh, instances where we've put in front of the NRL integrity unit that we won't go too far into as they're readily available anywhere because we want to look forward to one of an undoubted talented full uh, halfback coming to the competition to help uh, to lose hopefully gain the results that they need to stay in Super League. We wish him luck and we wish to lose all the best. And that's it for another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe and share this video worldwide as well as clicking that notification bell for any updates that may be coming your way. Tell me what your thoughts are of today's video. I know some interesting stories today. Carrie, Carrie, Jason Carrie, Carrie making a 
a little bit of a fool out of me by getting the new contract at Castleford rather than going to Leeds, as everyone was talking about. Um, Corey Norman down at Toulouse. How will he be a success, or will he be Mitchell Pierce's replacement next season at Catalans? And final story today. What do you think of it? As um, we see the comeback of T Maria Martin. A blurry play, a brain bleed. I'll try and get my brain freeze to work. Uh, in 2019, 16, whatever it was, now he's on the full road to come back. 2019. And he's now coming back as a full back for Brisbane Broncos. I think we've gone full circle with Brisbane Broncos. Players coming back for them. Where. People started going to, and then the young winger in between. But anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, share this video worldwide. Get the word out there for Rugby League. It's a great sport. We all know it. Let's get it out there. But in the meantime, please stay safe. I wish you all the best. And I'll see you in the next episode.